Okay, so four tips on how to get back into working out after you've had a little bit of a break. So it can be that maybe you just had like a few weeks off or it could be a really, really long time. And wherever you're at, like it's okay. Today is the day for new beginnings and you just need to continue to look forward. So my first tip would be first and foremost to just have grace for yourself wherever you're at. You know, I love this saying of acceptance precedes change. So being able to just own where you're at without any shame, without any guilt, and just accept it and try and have as much grace for yourself in your current circumstances as possible, that's gonna give you a really healthy jumping off point. So it can be easier said than done, but I would really encourage you to be able to just find those moments, rather um, taking note of any thoughts in your mind that are beating yourself up over it wherever you're at and choosing a new thought that is going to shower yourself with just grace and acceptance and um, looking forward to the future. Um, I myself had had to start over with my workout routine several times for various reasons and for different lengths of time. Um, I remember after my first son was born, now mind you, I've been teaching Pilates for a long time. I worked out up until like the eighth month and then I kind of took a little, a little rest. But I remember working out for the first time, laying down on my living room floor and doing just a simple chest lift, like a curl up. And I felt so weak. And I just had this thought of, I have to start all over. <laughs> I have to begin again. And with my, with my second child, I actually had to go to physical therapy because there was such a lack of um, rotation in my spine, twisting. I'd lost so much mobility and it was very uneven from one side to the next. And I was having a lot of back pain that I had to go to physical therapy a couple times a week. And it's humbling, but um, you know, we all have those moments where our bodies change, circumstances change, life happens, and we just have to start all over again. And it's okay. Um, the second tip I would say, number two, is let go of the past. Stop comparing yourself to the past. You know, maybe you were a marathon runner and now you have a hard time even just like walking around the block. Or for me, I had been a dancer back in my day, but then different injuries, too much time off. I got out of shape pretty, like was very much out of shape. And I'll share more details about that in another video. But you have to let go of who you were in the past so that you can become the person that you're meant to be in the future. And that leads me into step um, tip number three, which is when we look forward, then we can start to embrace our new normal. It may look a lot different than how it was in the past, but it could be better. You know, and that's something that if you want to embrace your new normal, you want to embrace the possibility of your future healthy self being better than it was in the past. You have to let go of that past person. Our bodies are not designed to stay the same every decade, every year, every month of our life. Our bodies are amazing creations that evolve and adapt and grow and sometimes get hurt, sometimes get sick, but they can also heal and it can recover. So just looking forward with that mindset with fresh eyes on the practical end that comes into tip number four, which is make a plan as you look forward. Have something that you're gonna be aspiring to that you can be held accountable for. So, and if it means like if you've been you know, out of the gym, out of working out for a couple years, it may be just working out one day a week and write it on your calendar, block it out. No one else has that time except you. And then 